Hey guys, I'm Kendi. Welcome to my channel. This is my very first video. Super long, super weighted, but it's here. Today I created just a fall glam look. I try to make it as simple as possible, but yet yeah, as glam as possible, if that makes sense, because I want you guys to be able to follow along and recreate the look, but look popping. You feel me? I want to keep this short and sweet, so let's just jump right in. If you follow these instructions exactly, you might be able to pull you a wrapper. An NBA player? Man, at least I do with a car, so let's get started. First, I'm just taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain, and I'm putting that all over my lid, and this is just going to act as a nice base for whatever shadow we put on top. And after this, I'm going to blend it all out and then set it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now I'm just taking the color Deep Skin by Morphe and I'm going to be putting that directly in my crease. This is just going to be our transition shade and it's going to blend everything we put on together really nicely. This next color I'm going in with is from the Artist Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills called Fresh. And I'm going to put this yellow directly on the skin tone color that we just put in our crease just to give us that fall look. And I'm switching between two brushes. They are the Sigma E40 and then the Morphe M511 just to blend out any harsh lines. This next shade is called Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a pretty brick color, perfect for a fall look. And I'm just going to be putting it on the outer corner of my eye and blending it halfway into my crease, just like you see me doing. Alright, so to deepen this look up, I'm going in with Secretive by Morphe, and I'm going to again put that on the outer corner of my lid and blend halfway into my crease, exactly like you see me doing again. And I am going in with that deep skin color, you guys, just to blend out any harsh lines that are created. Okay, so now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain, and I'm going to be cutting my crease halfway just because this is where I'm going to put the glitter.
I'm using the NYX glitter primer to make the glitter stick and then the glitter I'm using is also by NYX and it's copper. To blend the glitter a little more and also deepen up the look, I'm going to add a little bit more brown eyeshadow and just slowly blend that out. I'm just going to do this slowly, like I said, because I don't want this to look muddy. I want to keep the brown controlled and I want you to see more of the orange and yellow tones. When applying lashes, make sure you're holding a mirror directly under your chin so you can see your lash line and just put the lashes directly on your lash. And as you can see, my tweezers got stuck. I guess they got glued together, but we worked it all out. And then I'm just going to press those down into my lash line so they look natural. All right, I'm just gonna clip my hair back because it is all in my way. Does that look okay? All right, guys, I went ahead and I did my other eye off camera and I also did my entire face just because I'm gonna make a foundation routine video. So, it just wasn't really necessary for me, I feel like, and this is more focused on the eyes, so we're going to leave it at that. Um, To finish up the eyes, matter of fact, we are going to go ahead, can I find my brush? We're going to go ahead and I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to add everything that I added in the crease on my lower lash line. So I'm going to take that sienna color, that deep skin color, and then that plum color, and I'm going to um, blend it all on my lower lash line. Alright, so then for my inner corner and my brow bone highlight, I'm going to be taking these two colors. This is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Beige. I'm going to be taking these first two colors and mixing them together just because the first one is a little too icy for me. And then the second one is a little too pink, so if I mix them, that's just like the perfect combo. And that is it, you guys. I do want to leave you guys knowing that I'm wearing Spice by MAC, the lip pencil on my lips. And then the, just the gloss Sexy Mother Plucker by Soap and Glory in Spun Sugar. It's a plumping gloss because, you know, I need some plump. But, yes, so that's my lip. And this is the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon. See you soon. Thank you.